Hey, 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 what's going off up here then? I don't very often come up here, mate. Welcome to uh, Seal City Classics. Uh, my name's Frank, um, and this is Tati. Hi, yeah. Tati. Mark. Tati to us. Link we're, just, uh, we're just going to uh, have, a, have a wander around uh, and just show you some of our stock and have a chat with you about maybe what sort of bikes you've got. Uh, we're really interested to see uh, the sort of bikes that you've got in your little cubby hole, probably that the wife doesn't know about. But what we're going to ask people to do is, is to uh, send us pictures of all the bikes that they've got in there. We've done that with a few people, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's, uh, what's interesting is that uh, whenever you're selling a bike or even buying a bike, you tend to find that uh, the customer that you're selling to has got anything up to 25, 30, 60 bikes in, in one case. So, we're always keen to see uh, what you've got and uh, what we want you to do is send us some photographs of the, the, the nice tricky stuff that you've got. Would you yeah. do that for us? Yeah, we just put them in comments and... Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go through a few bikes that we've got, just give you a, a bit of a picture behind them and where they came from. Uh, Mark's, Mark's been uh, brilliant in terms of uh, finding some stock for us. People now are coming into us and asking us to uh, buy their bikes and buy from us. We've got some real good clientele. Um, for example, uh, the Jota that you can see, that was a bike that uh, I actually bought from uh, Bonham Auction. Um, it was one of the bikes in the day that uh, I was travelling down probably 24 years of age. Uh, I was fortunate at the time to have a, a CBX uh, 1000. I was travelling down to Matlock as we all did in the day and I could hear this thud come past me and it was the uh, Laverda Jota in the exact same colour, 180 uh, degree engine, an absolute stunning bike. Uh, I got there about 10 minutes later and the guy was sat there having his cup of coffee and I just sat and had a chat with him about the bike and from that moment I was it really and always wanted to sort of uh, own one. So we bought that from Bonham, the guy that was selling it was at the auction and uh, he absolutely uh, told me all about the bike, all the things that he's done. What's the company that uh, is famous for looking after these bikes? Uh, Slater Brother. Slater Brother, that's it. That bike's been uh, completely pampered by, by the Slater Brothers, who are renowned for looking after the Verde Georges. Just looking at these, Frank, these are two uh, Kawasaki's that you got from Germany. Yeah, the light yeah. We decided we'd do that one in the, uh, in the Lawson colours. Yeah, big Lawson fans we are. Um, you said you've got a couple of more bikes coming from. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the same guy, he's a, he's a very good guy, a good contact. He, he really gets into all the areas, of the, the Scandinavian areas. Uh, he's got a, a few bikes that uh, he, he grabs hold of. He's actually uh, got me two fantastic looking uh, CB 1100 RCs, which uh, certainly in my day, they were the bike to have if you could ever afford one. You don't really see them that much. I know there's an owners club and it would be interesting to get their, their views on it, so hopefully they'll get in touch with us. But we've got two of those coming, one uh, with, a, with a four into one exhaust of the, of, the, of the period, together with a brand new set of uh, standard uh, pipes, and the other one absolutely bog standard. So they're coming in sort of mid-December, so watch this space, they'll, they'll be good bikes to look at. And his quality is very good, so I'm, I'm hoping they're going to be really good bikes for us. And it's Kawasaki's head one, that tells a bit of a story. When we got that contact from that guy. Yeah, it, yeah it, is, it is a great story, that. The, the, uh, we've got a really good co uh, contact that uh, we've met. We've now become friends. He comes out and, and has a career with us when he pops down from Scotland. Uh, he had uh, a CBX offers and a final edition Ducati, uh, brand new. We, we delivered it myself and Mark went up there, stayed overnight and, and uh, delivered the bikes to him. And I was uh, fortunate enough that to, uh, to bring three bikes back with us, which he absolutely wasn't going to let go. Uh, that, that's one of them, the Z9. He had a Z1B uh, and a Z900, and they were absolutely stunning bikes, particularly, sorry, and, and a Z1000. And those bikes were absolutely stunning, all of that sort of uh, detail. We sold two of them. We've got uh, this one left, but we've got quite a lot of interest in it. Um, Stuart actually, Big Scottish guy gave me a bear hug when I when I, I sort of finally convinced him that we should be having these bikes to say I can't believe you've you've nicked these bikes off of me. But uh, we do have a bit of banter and we go backwards and forwards with him, so he's a great customer. That was, it's also a feature bike, so we had it on classic bike magazine. Ah, that's actually got the magazine here yes, yeah. with all the building. Yeah. And it's got absolutely loads and loads of receipts for bill uh, stunning. What's interesting about uh, the, the, what we found with uh, Steel City Classics is that you, you meet a, a different person, a, a 
maybe at the older end that uh, you know got a bit of money to spend. Uh, I've, I've seen the bikes in the era and want to stay with those bikes. But you, you, you can imagine that now what we're getting is contacts all around the country and even, even abroad. I, I met a, a really lovely guy, ex-Honda dealer of cars and bikes. He retired, sold out his business. I bought the SP1 from him because that bike is an absolute stunner. Uh, together with a CBX and a CX650 Turbo with 87 miles on the clock. So they're the type of customers that we tend to find. A lovely bike here, just while we're, while we're down this end. This is uh, one of my favourites. Uh, I absolutely love uh, the RD500, and uh, this one is a UK bike, so it's, it, that's rare in itself, and it's a one-owner bike from new. So you, you know, you tend to see the um, the white and red. It's very rare you see the black and red. So they are a, they are a, an unusual bike. That's in itself is is a little gem for me. Um, and I, and I certainly think that if anybody was interested in that type of stuff should certainly come down. I'm sure there are going to be lots of you out there that have got an RD500. Please don't forget, send us your pictures, let's get, let's get some snaps together. We're going to really feature customers' bikes, we really want to do that. Um, so if you have got your, your lovely little pippins as we call them, let's get some pictures of them. Tell us a bit of history about them and we'll obviously make sure that we feature them for you. Mark, tell us about this uh, RD350. This is one that you sourced. Um, UK bike, matching numbers, uh, Mars bar, which is probably the most popular yep. and most famous of colours, but really standard. All this has had is just a bit of a polish. It's just really, really nice, original. It's got all the got all the patina yeah. with it, hasn't it? It has. Yep. The original mirrors, everything on it, the original exhaust. Nothing's been changed with that bike whatsoever. That's how they came out. So the good thing about that is, as Mark says, it's, it's untouched. It's not something that uh, we've messed around with or, or, or where we bought it from has not, not been messed around with. I can't tell that catching my background there. Oh, that's, that is a, a Mike Kaywood replica. And as you can see, the whole of the body kit, I'll just come around this, uh, this side of it uh, to, to show you. Uh, what you've got here is, this, this bike is one that is a, a bike that you ride, it is ridden, and uh, the guy who runs it, or, or ran it, uh, quite often, and he changed a few things on it to make sure that the suspension, the electrics, all the motor, was a, was a bike that you could get on that any day and just have a nice ride on it, and not feel that you, you know, you, you're losing your feelings. What's good about it is that all the standard bits are with the bike, so you can see we've got the, the, the front nose fairing, the full fairing of the bike, the original seat and the original seat hump. So all that bike can be put back to standard as it should be, or you could leave it like this and you could run that bike every day. That is a lovely, lovely bike. That's just had a recent engine rebuild, but only done 600 miles since engine build. Yeah, the so guy's really, just really, good. really done a lot of work to that before we, we picked it up. He, he really worked on that bike to make it a runnable bike. And, he, and as I said, he runs that more or less every day when he has been doing it. Okay, so that's just giving you flavour. Um, you can see that we've got quite a, quite a lot of bikes. There's a few British bikes in the in the back there. One that's just come in that we took in part exchange, or two actually, that I'd like to show you. The CB504. Mark uh, did a bit of a video shoot on this the other day. It's got the original pipes on it, and this is a lovely, lovely bike. This has come in and not been touched, so it's not even been cleaned. So when we get our fingers on it, we'll make that a nice, bright bike. Together with the one just in front of it, which is a GT750 Suzuki, it's a B, so uh, it's the one that's desirable, original uh, front mud guard, it's got the correct lights and all the things that go on it are exactly as that bike should be. It's even got the mirrors with the S on the, uh, the mirror, so they are all standard. That is an absolute stunner and it's certainly a bike that you would want to come and have a look at. I'll just finish off with a couple of uh, our biggies. Uh, as you can see, we've got two red CBXs. We've got an American version here with the I bars. Um, pretty, pretty decent bike. That bike's as cheap as chips, as I would call it. That's twelve thousand pounds, and that's a, a good bike for someone to change a few things, maybe move a, thing, a few things around on it, get it to sort of the condition it needs to be. And we said that it's in decent nick anyway. But for twelve grand, you've got a bike that is a good investment, and that will take you further over the years to have become a, a 30 gram bike as they become limited. We have one that's had a full restoration and um, just to give you an idea, that's on a 12 gram, this is on a 24 gram, but that's had an absolute tooth and nail, bottom to top, all the way through, a full restoration on that bike. And that's probably one of the best I've ever seen. And you know, if you, if you 
talk to the CVX Owners Club, they've got some stunning bikes uh, themselves, but I think they would be impressed uh, with the way that that's done. They did, they did the plots on that bike to make sure that they were exactly as they should be. So I hope you've enjoyed the small tour that we've given you. Um, I'd like to thank Mark for his efforts in, in uh, getting the customers and, and bringing them in and getting some lovely bikes. Um, I'd like to see, as we said to you before, please, please send us your photographs, send us a, a little bit of history about where you got it from or the background with it, and we will make sure that we do some features on a weekly basis, and that will then uh, include everybody that loves classic bikes. Thank you for watching.